Okay, everybody. Well, this is Mark again, and uh, we're getting a snowstorm here in Maine. So I thought I'd take some time. I had such a good time doing the improv video uh, last Saturday that I wanted to share a little bit more. And I've got my double strung harp here. This is a Brittany uh, 22 string double, uh, which means it has two, two parallel rows of strings uh, all tuned the same. It's not cross strung, it's uh, parallel rows of strings. And I absolutely love it. And for improv play, it's absolutely beautiful. I want to talk to you in the subject of improv improvisation or extemporaneous playing. And I want to I want to share with you the beauty of doing improv using something called the pentatonic scale. Because if you're not used to improv play um, and you say, well, I'm just not creative at all, so I, I, I don't know what notes to play, uh, the, the pentatonic scale will work really, really great. Pentatonic means a five tone, five tone scale. And I don't want to go into a tremendous amount of detail because it's not the point of the video, but the pentatonic scale uses only the whole tones in a diatonic scale. There are eight tones in a diatonic scale from, say, for example, in the key of C. C to C is our eight tones. Two of those tunes, tones are semitune. <laughs> I guess two of those tones are semitones. Oh. And by semitone, it's that is that they arrive at that using something called sense, just like money. Sense, C E N T S. And semitones are 100 cents from the tone before it. So a whole tone is made up of 200 cents. All right? So from C to D is 200 cents, but from E to F is only 100 cents. It's a semitone. And a, and a diatonic scale is made up of. Um, uh, six. Am I going to get this right? If we if we include the eight, it's made up of of, of six, uh, two semitones, and the rest are whole tones. So we and it's whole, whole half, whole 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 half, or tone tone semitone, tone 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 semitone tone. I think I said that right. That's a lot of tones, halves, holes, and well. Anyway, the the pentatonic scale is a five tone scale made up from C. To C, and you play this the one, two, three, five, and six. Also the eight if you go up to the top of the scale. So the one, the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth note of the scale, and we leave out the fourth and the seventh tone of the scale, which in the C major scale is F and B. All right, we leave those out when we're when we're playing in a pentatonic scale. The reason we leave them out is because they're semitones. It's one hundred. Uh, 100 cents difference. Playing all the other five notes of a pentatonic scale means we're playing notes that are exactly 200 cents apart from the note before it or a multiple of 200 from any note that you play above or below it. So if I play a C and I play a E, that's 400 cents apart. I can then go from a C to a G, and that's again a multiple of, of 200 cents. So literally I can play any tone, any combination of tones in a pentatonic scale one at a time, and they should, in most cases, sound good. The, the pentatonic scale sounds like this. Now a lot of... Um, um, Middle Eastern, a lot of Chinese, Japanese scales are pentatonic scales, uh, not necessarily in our Western uh, scale notations, but they're made up of five tones uh, th because it just it's there's something fundamental and beautiful about it. So the beauty of playing in a, on a pentatonic scale is, for example, if I'm playing in the key of C and I'm just using uh, a C triad or a G triad. And I, I can play any of the five tones, six if I include the octave, any of the five tones in the pentatonic scale. And by doing so, uh, uh, paired up with a uh, C triad or a G triad, I can create my own melody. And no matter what order I play the notes in, it's going to sound good. Let me give you an example of it here. I 
reached down and played the B there instead of the C. But you get the idea. And it's just, it, you say, well, that sounds a lot like a lullaby. A lot of lullabies, a lot of songs that are uh, written for children are played on a pentatonic scale. It gets even simpler than that. You can actually create your own melody using only three notes of the pentatonic scale, C, D, and E. I'm going to I'm going to just fiddle around here with just C D and uh, C D and E, and I'm going to play um, a C triad. I'm going to use some Fs, and I'm going to use some Gs. And I'm but I'm in my right hand. I am only going to play either C D or E, and I'm just going to improvise and come up with a melody here so that you can hear how it's going to sound. Let's see here. Just three notes. It's just a simple melody. In fact, one of the most recognizable melodies that anybody has ever heard uh, was played using only, originally only three notes. Now we often use four notes for it, but it can be played on just three. One of the first songs you learn when playing the piano. And I'm talking about this one. Three notes played, and it is, it's a melody that everyone recognizes. Now, the pentatonic scale then is incredibly useful for improv play, and it can be incredibly beautiful. If I play Mary Had a Little Lamb, but I play it with, with some chords in the right hand and some chords in the left hand, utilizing the pentatonic scale, I bet you we can even make Mary Had a Little Lamb sound amazing. Again, a simple pentatonic scale. I'm not going to stick with just these three. I'm going to use the pentatonic scale as, uh, all the way from C to C. But let's see what happens if I take Mary Had a Little Lamb, a simple melody on a pentatonic scale, and I play it on the double strung harp, just improvising the tune. Let's see here. All right. That's nice. Again, just using the pentatonic scale. But you can start off by just playing a melody on that pentatonic scale. And then you can create your own melodies. Again, just having fun on those five notes as you get more comfortable with that scale, creating your own melodies that can be incredibly relaxing and beautiful. Well, that's what I have for you today. The pentatonic scale. Here's what you need to remember. In any major scale you're playing in, you're using the first, second, third, fifth, sixth, and eighth note of the scale. Avoid the fourth and the seventh. 
and just it's pure magic. Any note you play sounds good. Create your own melodies and have a great time doing it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to hear what you're doing using the pentatonic scale and improv play. Well, I'll see you next time around, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, as always, for your feedback. And uh, let's keep sharing the heart music that we do with the world. The world needs more of it. So have a great week.